Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library and today we are going to make these amazing infinity cards. So I want you to check this out. So I used some recycled magazine to cover them, but watch this. And we're back to the beginning again. Watch again. So cool. And so easy. Now I say that it's easy after I played with this for several hours yesterday and uh, read instructions from one blog and watched two other videos and I was confused in all but when I watched all of them and read all of them together uh, it started to make sense which is why I'm doing a video for all of you today. So let's do this infinity card and then I'll show you really quick another style too. Okay, so what you need is paper cutter, scoring tool, bone folder, some kind, um, a ruler if you don't have it, scissors, uh, double stick tape or glue stick. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to start with four. One, two, three four, three by six inch rectangles, perfectly measured. They have to be measured correctly. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do, and this is on uh, cardstock, okay? Uh, so now I'm going to put this onto my scoring board, which I love and I got uh, this year for the first time. And I'm gonna go one and a half inches in and I'm gonna score, okay? And you can do this with a, um, with a ruler, uh, but it's one and a half inches in. Same thing on the other side, one, I flip it and go one and a half inches in, okay? So, one and a half inches, one and a half inches, you're gonna need that. sure why that does that. Six, so one and a half, and one and a half, okay. So now, okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn it this way, and again, I'm gonna do one and a half inches, which is actually going to split it down the middle, and I'm only, shoot, I'm only going as far as the bend, okay? Only as far as the bend. And then I'm gonna flip it around, do the other side, and only go down as far as the score, okay? So, only that far, okay? So, right there, you can see, it's hard to see, I'm trying to see. Oh, there, you can see better on this side where it was scored, so right there, both sides, okay? Uh, you're gonna do that with all four of them. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All four, flip it, get it right up to the edge. Really important that it's not quite straight. I am gonna straighten that out because that is really important make sure that it is straight. Okay, scoring. And then I'm gonna do that. Score there. And here, okay? And you can do the scoring or folding with, um, with a ruler, okay? All right, 
So there they are. All right. So now I'm just going to, I'm going to do these. I'm going to use these that I have right here. Okay. So mine are all folded. Okay. I've got the folds here. I've got the fold there only down as far. So that the center is solid. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I am going to line up two of these with the folds going horizontal. Okay, so these folds going horizontal across. Okay, that is important. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, tape in the four corners and only on the four corners. Okay, so Okay, so now you can see that I have tape in just the four corners. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. My folds are going in this direction. So the split is down the middle, but the folds are like this, okay? And I'm going to do those right in the middle. And then what I'm gonna do is with this, okay, two others, I am going to stick them down, but my folds go this way now, and then the center goes this way. It's opposite, okay? So when I put these down, it's gonna go like this and like that on top, okay? So on top, that way it can open, all right? So what I'm gonna do is peel the tape like that, Okay, and I'm going to put that first one right there. And this one right here. Okay, so there we go, like that. And then I'm gonna do this one. Flip it right up into the corner like that and right there okay and then so now they are together okay just the corners no other wear no other place now i can go like this and like this i'm gonna score it Make sure that it is nice and flat, nice and creased, so it will lay flat and it will fold easy. Okay, so here we go. Here's that one, and here's this one, like that. Make sure that one is folded nice. Okay, and so there we go, like that, like that, 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 and then what you can do is mount things onto your, uh, onto the squares. Okay, on here, just like on this one. So I have two squares mounted, two large squares, and then two small squares. And then here I have two rectangles, and then two squares. And then in here, I have four squares on top, two large squares in the middle, four squares along the bottom. And then here, I did four because two, the two rectangles are already done. 
So I have four squares in the corner and then two large squares and I mounted them. I cut them about a quarter of an inch smaller than the square and then that mounts with that nice frame around the outside. And you could tell, you could use these to tell a story. You could use it as a birthday card or a surprise. Uh, it could be a birthday topper or just something fun. Uh, your kids could do this as a little, um, a little flip book where they tell a story or write a little mini graphic novel as a flip, um, as a, um, yeah, a, a flip thing. So, um, so cool. I hope you all try this. And I want to show you also, so this does end up as a square, but we come about it differently than another pattern that I found, which was two squares, where you cut the square, uh, you fold it in, you fold it in half, fold it in half, then you fold the half into uh, the, the center, you fold this into there, and this into there, which then divides it by four, okay? And you do that on both sides, okay? And then you're gonna cut it down the middle. Um, and then two, it's two pieces of paper, okay? Cardstock. Uh, and um, again, you are putting tape on the inside of one, two, three, four corners. That's it. So that when you put it together, it will unfold. So it unfolds the same way as the other one, but it, whoops, oh, there we go. But it has a few more folds. So, two different ways to do the same kind of infinity card, but both are folded just a little differently from the beginning. Hugs to you all. Happy creating. I love this. It has such potential for just cool things. Um, yeah. Happy creating to everyone out there. Miss Amy.